Um, up here in the left corner, we've got the Start menu. Um, a lot of first-time users with the new version uh, don't see this right away. Um, but this is where you find your sort of standard file opening and closing and saving um, and commands. And there's one here called Inputs Browser. The Inputs Browser um, displays a table of input variables. Um, and um, you can use this Inputs Browser for a, a project file with one case or for a project file with, with many cases. Um, and it, 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 um, when you have a file with many cases, it shows you uh, lists of variables sorted by either, um, in this case, we're showing uh, only variables that have different values. So we have two identical cases here. And the only variable that's different is the self-shading mode variable. Um, with, and the no shading case, it's set to none. And then the self-shading case, it's set to self-shaded. Um, we can change the view here um, to show all the variables. So this is a list of all the input variables in both cases. Um, and you can export this um, file to Excel or to a CSV file to get a list of all the input variable names. Um, this is the, their, their internal variable names, the variable label, and then its value in, in each case. So the Inputs Browser is a handy tool for um, comparing inputs across cases um, when, you're, when you're doing scenario analysis with multiple cases in SAM. And one of the benefits of using cases in SAM versus some of the other techniques I'm going to show you is that you can use cases to compare completely different systems. So if you are, if you are doing a scenario analysis where you're evaluating, say, P, uh, PV and wind for a particular project site, um, you might set up uh, two separate cases, a wind case and a PV case, um, and, then, and then compare the two systems um, in, in, by switching between the cases that I'm showing you here. 